Dieu vivant. Et la Bible dit, que ton nom soit sanctifié. Même quand tu tombes, il peut te relever. RCV, un clic et suivez partout. Pendant qu'on était en train d'adorer le Seigneur, As we were worshiping the Lord, le Saint-Esprit m'a fait revenir à l'Esprit. The Holy Spirit brought into my mind. Ça fait en 2006. In 2006. J'ai reçu une vision. I received a vision. Écoutez très bien. Listen to me carefully. J'ai reçu une vision. I received a vision. Dans la vision, Dieu m'a transporté au ciel. In this vision, I was transferred to heaven. Alors, c'était pour moi la toute that was for me the very first time Je vu les anges le I saw how the angels were worshipping the Lord what touched me were the repetitive words from the angels Alors, avant 2006, before 26 2006 Ma conception sur l'adoration, la louange à Dieu. I had my own understanding about praise and worship to God. Alors ce jour-là, dans cette vision, but on that vision, quand je vu et j'ai entendu surtout les paroles des anges, when I heard the words of the angels, ce qui m'a touché, what touched me, c'était les mêmes paroles. Is that the same words, Pastor? They were repeating the same Donc, words. Je, je peux dire, pendant un for a long time, all they were saying was, you are the king of kings, you are the resurrected one, you are the living God. Now, me, in my understanding, I said, ah, these angels are not really deep into the word of God. Don't they have all the words? So all they can say for such a long time is the key. You are the king of kings. You are the mighty God. You are the resurrected one. So while I was thinking, the Holy Spirit came to tell me, do you remember in the Bible? It is written that the four angels, listen to me, and the elder, the 24 elders, they were bowing down. What were they saying? Listen to me. Holy, 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 holy. It is the Lord. Sometimes we think that you must change words. That you must use different phrases. So that by your words, your worship will be accepted. But God is saying it is not like this. The true worshippers, we worship the Father in spirit and in truth. So when you understand the meaning of worship, you can spend 30 minutes repeating the same thing. You are the Alpha, you are the Omega, you are the Alpha, and you are the Omega. And when you are pronouncing these words, it comes from the bottom of your heart. Are you understanding what I'm saying? Now listen to me. Now God then told me in my vision In order to show you what I am telling you, there is one among you on earth who had understood this secret. And it's somebody that you know very well. And the while God was saying this to me, the angels started singing this song that I knew very well. Jésus, notre roi, il a vaincu la mort, il est ressuscité. 
Hallelujah. Who knows this song? Who knows who sang this song? song? Who's, who wrote this song? Papa oh, Papa Lemoloto. When God showed me this, wow. I was astonished. Yes, now I understand. Ever since that day, my intimacy, my intimacy with God has changed. And while we were worshiping here, that vision came back to me. That's why I would like to tell you, be a true worshiper. What I loved about John 4, the Bible says these are the worshippers that the Father is seeking for. The Bible says, Pastor, everyone who is a breath of love shall worship the Lord. It means the trees are breathing can worship God. Even heaven can worship God. Animals are really living so they can worship God. Even the breathing water can worship God. Criminals are alive so they can worship. Even the devils who are alive can worship. Uh, but there is a particular thing which is only given to the true worshippers. Listen. The father is seeking for not those who are worshipping him but those who are worshipping In order to do a true worship you must be a son. It means uh, you need to have a relationship with the Father. In other words, just to make it easy, whoever is not born again, whoever has not received Jesus Christ as the Lord and Savior, cannot worship God. Only those of the spirits that shout out Abba can worship. Abba is not the Abba for the animals. You will never hear a tree saying, Oh, my father. So Jesus then will say to the men, those who believe in God, this is how you shall pray. Our Father who is in heaven. So he was the Father of Jesus. He also became our Father through the spirits of adoption. It means if you are not born again, born again means if you did not receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior, you cannot be a true worshiper. It is impossible. These are the worshippers that the Father is seeking for. Not the worshippers that God is seeking for. The Father is looking for them. Because these worshippers are sons and daughters of the kingdom. Who have understood the difference? So everybody can worship. But when it comes to true worship, it's not the deep intimacy. It's the intimacy. It's something you develop on a daily basis. So worship it is a life of a child of God. It is not just about singing. It's true. Singing can come with worship. But worshiping goes beyond the singing. It is a love that you are giving to God. It is the intimacy with Him. 
So in the time of Moses, this is just a bonus I'm giving you. It's not my message. It's just a bonus. In the tabernacle of Moses, there were three parts. The first part, the middle of the holy place, and then the place to mass to high holy. Now the first place, it was just the outside which represent the body of the man. When you look at me, you see my body. This is just what you see from outside, which is in contact with what we can touch. Now, beyond the body where you can see, there was the holy place, which is not compared to the soul of a man, which is what is your personality. But now, beyond the holy place, we had the most holy place which is compared to the spirit of a man. If you are born again, 2 Corinthians 7, 17, if a, someone is in Christ, they became a new creature. Who becomes a new creature? Is not your body. If you are just a small size and then you are born again, you remain the same size. Nothing will change. However, your spirit is born again. And that's where God is coming to dwell. It is the same that was happening in the tabernacle of Moses. God was coming down. Not in the first location. Not in the holy place. But only in the most holy places. For other people, it's just old schools. God only descended. The presence of God only came in the most holy places. Which is compared to the spirit of man. First Corinthians 6 17 says, If someone comes to the Lord, they come, they come one spirit. That's why there is the communion. And that's why God wants to communicate with men. It is in the most holy places. Listen. The first place is compared to the prayers of thanksgiving that we do. The worship, the praise. Is now compared to the holy place, and the place most holy is compared to the worship. So, your spirit is what is born again. And that's where you can now worship. John 4 23 says, The time has arrived. It is already here where the true worshippers are going to worship. Not in Jerusalem, not in the mount, but they are going to worship in spirit. It means that your spirit, which is born again, wherever you are, you don't need to go in the temple of Jerusalem. You can go in contact with God. Who is happy for the, about this bonus? Love for the Lord, for the bonus. Hallelujah. Because it is my first time to be here, I must introduce myself very well. It is really important. I am Pastor Jari Mwegai. I come from Netherlands. And our church is based in Rotterdam. Je suis marié I am married avec ma charmante épouse, to my wonderful wife, Jordina Mwegad. Jordina Mwegad. Ensemble avec elle, and together with her, nous avons trois enfants. we have three children. Prochaine, and next vie, year in April, notre né fera 18 ans. our firstborn will turn 18. And all our three children are born in April. Let's clap for the Lord. Alors, je suis ici. I am here. 
C'est pas par accident. Not just by hazard. Je suis le fils spirituel du pasteur Israël Zemmour. I am the spiritual son of Pastor Israel. Qui est la première extension de l'église La Borne pour ceux qui connaissent. Who is from the, the church La Borne for those who know the church. Donc, le pasteur Jacques Vernon. So the pastor c'est mon grand-père spirituel. Is my spiritual grandfather. Je viens des ensembles de Dieu de Kinshasa. So I came from the assembly of God from Kinshasa. Et ici en Angleterre. And here in England. C'était par le pasteur Ludi Kachunga. It was through Pastor Ludi Kachunga. For those who know him. Que j'ai été connecté au Reverend Maps. That I was now connected to Reverend Maps. Et c'est que j'ai Au travers de sa vie. What I loved is that by his life, c'est vraiment un père he is a true moi, father for us. Et un cœur qui, un père qui a un cœur vraiment de te donner les ouvertures. And he has a father with a heart to give you Et everything. Je me l'ai vous dire. I would like to tell you. Ensemble avec son épouse, Maman Hortense. With his wife, Maman Hortense. Ce sont des personnes formidables. They are wonderful people. Comme j'avais dit. As I said, Dans le kilt, in the first service, souvent, vous savez, quand vous avez chose de précieux, often when you have something valuable, vous savez pas mm, you don't know how to value it. Les qui sont de but those who are coming from outside, they know what this couple represents. Moi, je le sais. Now, I know it. Just by passing for S ministry, my life had changed. My ministry had changed. Things had changed. And I would like to warn you. If you don't look after this man, we are going to leave Netherlands and take him. We are going to take him with us. Donc je vous lance un défi. This is just something I'm telling you. You must look after this couple. Alors, si vous les aimez, if you truly love them, Seigneur. let's clap for the Lord. Hallelujah. Gloire au Seigneur. Glory to God. Je vais bénir Jésus. I want to bless Jesus. Mon Père. My Father. Qui m'a donné cette occasion. Who gave me this occasion. Par l'homme de Dieu. For the man of God. In order to preach His word, Saint Esprit, Holy Spirit, parle, speak. Qui ne vit change. May a life change. Tu nous as pas en vain. You did not send us here in vain. Voici ton temple. This is your temple. Voici ton tabernacle. This is your tabernacle. Pour la gloire. May the glory remplisse la maison. To fill this place. Saint Esprit, Holy Spirit. Sous Breathe from all angles. Merci pour l'inspiration. Thank you for the inspiration. Merci pour la guérison Thank you for malades. the healing of the sick. Merci pour la délivrance. Thank you for the deliverance. Merci pour la liberté. Thank you for the freedom. Merci pour le promotion. And thank you for the promotion. Merci pour les nouvelles ouvertures. Thank you for new openings. Merci pour les portes ouvertes. Thank you for those that are open. Merci pour la grâce. Thank you for the grace. Oui, Saint Esprit. Yes, Holy Spirit. Allons ensemble. Together, may the, the goal of today to be reached this afternoon Au nom de Jésus. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Merci beaucoup. Thank you very much. Je vais juste à notre père qui joue au I'm going to ask si our brother who's playing keyboards doucement. who can really fall, like, help me slowly, bien. smoothly. Le thème de notre message, the theme of our message, Dieu de mon the God of my covenant. It means you can say this for yourself. Peux-tu dire, le Dieu de mon can you say the God of my covenant? Oh, voilà. Can we repeat? Avec moi, say with me, le Dieu de mon the God of my covenant. Are there living people in this place? Are there living a strong people? Si tu es vivant, if you are alive et que tu es fort, and you are strong, lift your feet Dieu de mon and alliance. say the God of my covenant. Dis le Dieu de mon the alliance. God of my covenant. Dis le Dieu de mon the alliance. God of my covenant. Dis le Dieu de mon the God of my covenant. Merci, on peut you may be seated. Nous nos We are going to take our Bibles. Quelqu'un qui sera impacté 
summer will be richly impacted this afternoon. I thought you were amen. going to say amen. Nous allons lire dans le livre des psaumes. We are going to read in the book of Psalms. Dans le livre des psaumes. The book of Psalms. 89. Merci Saint Esprit. Thank you Holy Spirit. Le psaume 89. Psalms 89. On va faire une lecture à Kangourou parce que on ne pourra pas tout lire. We can't read everything. Psalm 89. Psalms 89. Nous allons lire à partir du verset 4. From verse 4. J'ai fait alliance avec mon élu. Voici ce que j'ai juré à David, mon serviteur. J'affermirai ta postérité pour toujours, pour toujours, et j'établirai ton trône à perpétuité. Verset 7. Car qui dans le ciel peut comparer à l'Éternel, qui est semblable à toi parmi le Fils de Dieu Dieu est terrible dans la grande assemblée des saints. Nous allons sauter, nous allons lire le verset. 19. Car l'Éternel est notre bouclier, le Saint d'Israël est notre roi. Alors tu parlas dans une vision à ton bien-aimé et tu dis, je prêtais mon secours à un euro. J'ai élevé des milieux du peuple un jeune homme. J'ai trouvé David, mon serviteur. Je le oint de mon huile sainte. Ma main le soutiendra. Et mon bras le fortifiera. Le nemi ne le surprendra pas. Et le méchant ne le primera point. Je craserai devant lui ses adversaires. Et je frapperai ceux qui les haïssent. Oh, verset 25, c'est trop beau, verset 25. Ma fidélité, aïe, 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 aïe. Ma fidélité et ma bonté seront avec lui. Et sa force se lèvera par mon nom acclamons le Seigneur sa force se lèvera par son nom se lèvera par son nom les dieux de mon alliance the god of my covenant c'est quoi l'alliance what is a covenant l'alliance c'est une relation d'amour a covenant is a relationship of love c'est une relation d'unité it's a relationship of unity a relationship of accordance between God and his man or human being. In this world, there are people who also have covenances. For example, a man can have a, a, a covenant with a woman in a relationship called marriage. That's what God has said. The man will leave his family and will attach to his wife. The two will become one flesh only. So what I have understood that when there is a covenant, the true the two come together. So the covenant we are going to talk about today is not a human covenant. It is the divine covenant with the creator of all things who did have this covenant with his children. So God is doing a covenant so that he can totally impose himself in your life. Listen to me. Pay attention to what I am saying. So God is having a confidence with us so that the confidence will allow him to come and completely impose himself into your life. It means that when there is not a confidence, God is not involved but when there is a covenant, Le Dieu du ciel n'a pas choix. the God of heaven has no other choices. Donc, 
The most powerful things in heaven and in the Bible and here is the covenant with God. That's why the Bible is summarized in about two covenants which we call the Old Testament and the New Testament. And let me tell you, people are seeking for blessings. But I came to give you a revelation. The covenant is greater than blessings. Because in reality, it is in the covenant that the promises are yes and amen. Are you understanding what I'm saying? It's because in the covenant, the promises are yes and amen. Second Corinthians 1 20. The, Bible says the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ. Are you understanding what I'm saying? The one of the covenants with God is better than the one who's seeking for blessings from God. Because in the covenants with God, the covenant is covering all the blessings that are in the word of God. So if you understand the deepness of the covenant, you become a strong man in the enemy camp. It means that the covenant is giving you many advantages because it is in the covenant that God will show himself. I'm going to show you in the Bible how because of the covenant I know God God is never weak. He says the one who is keeping Israel never sleeps. But in order to help us what makes God weak in order for him to intervene for you and to feel obliged to help you is when you have a confidence with him. When you have a confidence with God it is the reputation of his name. That's to say it's because of his name he will make you powerful. So have a confidence with God. So that you can take God's reputation wherever you go. Meanwhile, God is the King of Kings. When Jesus showed us the prayer, our Father, he said, May your name be sanctified. May your name be recognized. Mm, you are unique in the way you act. Your reputation goes from ages to age. In the covenant with God, God's reputation is shared through David. So because God is an unchangeable God, he is a great king, he will do everything he can in order to protect you, in order to give you all you need, in order to bless you, in order to lift you. Because in the covenant, ah, you become a written letter of God himself. He wants the people to read about you. When people are seeing you, they can say, truly these men comes from God. But the first thing for someone to have a covenant with God is to be born again. Today in the churches, many people are ignoring what comes about born again and be baptized. Mark 16, 16. The Bible says, 
the one who we believe and will be baptized will be saved. Today in churches, even in some churches, there are people who come who are serving the Lord but they've never got baptized. This is just a short story I want to give you. One day, I was called. There was a brother of a sister who prays with us. Her biological brother he was really ill. He has certain untreatable sickness. Now, I was called to pray for him. Listen to what I'm saying. When I arrived, I started praying. Now, and I said, Oh, Father, do something for your son. When I said this, the Holy Spirit told me, I do not know him. He is not my son. I stopped prayer. I asked this question. Do you believe in Jesus? You know, many people just come as a mass in the church. But they never went to for the bapt for baptism. Some other people never go baptized. But you will be surprised that the day, the end day, the last day, they remain behind because God does not know them. It's not just because you belong to us ministry. We are recorded in, the, in heaven. It is not an automatic matter. It's a, those who believe in his name, John 1. So the world has given the strength to become a child of God. It means as the people on earth, we are all God's creatures. However, all the people are not children of God. You will become a child of God for the, being born again. Listen. I'm going to ask a question. Oh, I was praying for you. But God is telling me that he doesn't know you. Now, I start to ask him questions. Do you believe in Jesus? He said, oh yes, I believe in Jesus. Wait, are you baptized? Oh, never. I never go baptized. Ah, there we go. There we go. Mark 16, 16 says, the one who will believe and will be baptized will be saved. Even when you read in the Bible, they be born again and be baptized in water, they go together. People who believed in the first churches, even in Act 4, when Peter preached on the Pentecost day, people asked him, what should we do? He said, you must repent. And you must be baptized. And the Bible says they were then baptized and there were 3,000 people. They understood that there were 3,000 because they were baptized and they were counted. I want to just start by saying, if you are here, and you never received the Lord Jesus as your Lord and Savior, you cannot have a covenant with God. God does not know you. You are a creator. God can see everybody. There's a difference between being seen and being known. We can see everybody. I don't know you. Because there are many people that's the first time I can see you. I don't know what your name is, where you live, what is your life. I can 
say because I can see you, I can see you, but I don't know you. So God can see everybody, but he doesn't know everyone because they don't have a personal relationship with him. That's why before I carry on, I would like to ask this question. I don't want to miss out the objective of the Lord that sent me here. I'm going to ask this question. Who among us? Maybe you come to church. But you've never received yourself, Jesus Christ, as your Lord and Savior. You were never led to do the prayer in order to accept Jesus. If you are here, lift up your hands and you want to receive Jesus Christ. Are you here? Everyone had received Jesus Christ. Glory to God. This is wonderful. So if you are here, and you never been baptized in water and by this message you understand the Mark 16, 16 says the one who believes will be baptized and they will be saved if you never go baptized lift up your hand If you can please raise your feet. Don't be shy. We are in the house of the Lord. We are in the house of the Lord. Because you know, when a pastor is preaching, it's not just about talking. We are messengers. So when I listen to heaven and I obey to what heaven is telling me. At the end of the day, I had accomplished my mission. I would like to ask you, would you like to be baptized? Would you like to be baptized? Would you like to be baptized? Can we clap for them, church? If you want, Please, I'm going to ask you. You can ask Super Statino. He's going to take your names. And after he's going to lead you through all the process for baptism so that you can be baptized. May this message be for you. Let's clap for the Lord. Thank you. You may be seated. So, the covenant with God starts by being born again. It is in the covenant that we have protection against death. There is protection against sickness. When God took the Israelites out of Egypt, do you remember that he sent Moses? Moses had nine signs, miracles signs before Pharaoh. Pharaoh said, I will not let them go. Do you remember the story? Pharaoh said, I will not let them go. But listen, God will then say, now the Israelites They will have a covenant for the lamb, the blood of the lamb. What I'm saying, I really did. He told Moses, now this is the tenth, is the tenth miracle. Now every family is going to take a lamb and take us straight to the cross where the lamb of God was then given John 19 30 when he was taken to the cross 
He said, everything has been accomplished. So now, as Israel had a covenant with God through the blood of the Lamb, no, the same night, the Bible says the angel of death struck the whole Egypt except the house where the blood was on the door. The houses where blood were put in the door, death was passing by. So even Easter, Easter means to pass. It means when you're celebrating Easter, you are celebrating the covenant with the blood of the Lamb. Sickness will pass by. Curse will pass by. Poverty will pass by. Ridiculousness will pass by. Failure is just passing. Pains are passing. Demons are passing. Are you understanding? When they celebrated a covenant, and God said, Moses, I will now show to Pharaoh my right hand. So in the covenant with God, fight does not belong to you. Now it is the right hand of God. And God says in Psalm 147, if I never forgive, forsake you, may my right hand lose his strength. So when you have this covenant with God, ah, you are in a secure place. Now listen. When God called me into ministry, when I understood what I am preaching about today, I came I come from a certain tribe in Congo. And our families was a family that was well known for being rich. Every year, someone was dying in the family. I saw my sisters dying in front of my eyes. Because of the witchcraft that was raining upon my family. When I understood this thing, oh, say, oh my God. Act 16, 31 says, Believe in God, Jesus. You will be saved. You and your family. That means if you have a covenant with God, you can involve your family in the covenant. And when you're including your family, your God, their God, we know the story of Ruth and Naomi. Ruth, she came from a, a cursed family. A family who had incest. She was the cursed woman. Ah, but when she met Naomi, she declared, I will not let you go. Your God will become my God. That means she entered into the covenant. And ever since that day, the curse was broken. So when you come into the covenant with God, the curse will understand that it is the end of sickness will understand that it is the end of listen now listen when I have understood I told God because I am in a covenant with you from today I am stopping death in my family never again. Brothers and sisters, I believe ever since I made that prayer 
It's been years. No one died in our family. I did not lose my brothers and sisters. That was stopped. The thing came stopped with the confidence you are to last year my younger brother called Steve he is in Kishasa he entered into a bus and he was going somewhere and then they had an accident on that bus but him uh, is including the confidence that I had with God now listen, listen this is serious in that accident, the bus just rotates many times. And then every time it was rotating, many people died. Many people died. So in this, in this disaster, people notice that there is someone moving inside the bus there is someone who is alive on the bus listen, listen, listen now the one the survivor who came among those who were dead no even one scar no even a little scar he was a survivor he came out from the bus. When he came outside, people who were there, they were astonished. There was a little one who was there. He said, I want to take you straight to your house. Do not pay me anything. What we just experienced had never happened before. And my younger brother, Ask to this young boy, please take me to our father's house. He went to our father's house, and then I was called. They explained to me. I said, oh, Are you in pain? He said, I have nothing. Not even a wound. Not even a wound. Okay, let's still go to the hospital because, because among the people who are wounded and dead bodies, you have not really. We went to the hospital. They had all the scan, scans. Not even one fracture. Nothing. Because of the power of the confidence. Oh. We have reached the end. This is now five. I want to end by saying the one who has the confidence with God ah, even your goods are protected. Ah, I'm going to give you this. And then I'm going to give the microphone back. In 2022 or 21, I was coming back for Austria with a sister. We went to bury someone. Now we finished the ceremony. Now we were finding ourselves in the airport. Often when I travel, un petit sac là, I always have a small bag. Je mets mon I put my, my, my wallet, mon billet, my ticket, mon passport, my passport. Everything is that little Le bag. So that little bag is like a treasure for me. Alors, tout dans le sac. I had everything inside that little ba uh, bag. Alors, je pas I did not understand because the plane was late, we sat there, we were talking with the sister. I must have removed my little bag and put it on the side. Now the boarding time was starting and we had to go. 
when we arrived, I have like a, a great thirst I did not understand. 20 minutes before boarding, I told the sister, I must drink. But my bag was not there. Ha, God is good. Oh. The goodness and the faithfulness of God. I didn't even know that I lost my bag. He gave me a thirst to, you know, to drink. And I told the sister, I must drink. Oh, do you also want something? I'm going to buy it. Now, for me to purchase it, I needed my bag with my wallet. I looked around and my bag was not there. At the airport. 20 minutes and then we're going to start boarding. My God. I did not have my bag. I started looking for it with the sister. No bag was to be found. People started boarding. That's when you're going to remember my message. I said, no. I have a covenant with God. At the airport. It's a true story. I said, back. Wherever you are. Come to me. In the name of Jesus. When you have a covenant with God, uh, when you are in troubles, he is involved. He is obliged to help you. When I prayed, three or five minutes later, I could see from far someone was running with my bag. Somebody was running with my bag. When I saw them, I said, that is my bag. Give it back to me. Have you ever seen such a thing? At the airport, you're losing your bag. There's everything in it. But the prayer of a man who has a covenant with God, we bring it back. Lift, lift, raise your feet. I'm going to prophesy. Lift up, raise your feet. Lift up both your hands. Before I pray, think about everything you had lost in your life. If you had lost your health, if you lost your money, you had lost your job, you had lost your house, you had lost something. Today is the prayer of the one who has a confidence with God. And I am telling you, after today, you will testify and you will say, the God of Israel, the God of Abraham, the God of Israel, and the God is the mighty God. I can see the glory of God coming upon someone. There is God's glory coming upon the interpreter. The God is coming upon me. The God of God is coming upon me. I can see the glory of God coming upon me. I can see something that's covering. There is something powerful that is touching right now. Uh, this place will be filled. This place will be filled. I can see in the spirits. I can see her in spirits. We've heard I can see a taste of joy. I can see there is a no.